Hello and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. It says, solve the following system of inequalities graphically. The first inequality given to us is 5x plus 4y less than or equal to 20, x greater than or equal to 1, and the third one is y greater than or equal to 2. Let us now move on to the solution. The first inequality given to us is 5x plus 4y less than or equal to 20. Now, its corresponding equation of line is 5x plus 4y is equal to 20. And to draw this line, we need to have two points. So, if x is 0, this implies y is equal to 5. And if y is equal to 0, this implies x is equal to 4. So, we need to plot the ordered pairs 0, 5 and 4, 0 to draw the line 5x plus 4y is equal to 20. So, let's now draw the line 5x plus 4y is equal to 20. So, let's plot the ordered pairs 0, 5 and 4, 0 to draw the line 5x plus 4y is equal to 20. That is if x is 0 then y is 5 and if y is 0 then x is 4. Let's now join these points to get the line 5x plus 4y is equal to 20. Now we have to identify the region for the inequality 5x plus 4y less than or equal to 20. For that we take any point not lying on the line 5x plus 4y is equal to 20 and we will check whether that point satisfies this inequality or not. If that point satisfies this inequality we will shape the region which contains that point and if that point doesn't satisfy this inequality we will shape the region which doesn't contain that point and we take that point to be 0, 0. So if x is 0, y is 0, then inequality becomes 5 into 0 plus 4 into 0 less than or equal to 20. That is 0 is less than or equal to 20 which is true. That means the point 0, 0 satisfies the inequality 5x plus 4y less than equal to 20. So, we will shade the region which contains the point 0, 0 for the inequality 5x plus 4y less than equal to 20. Now, this is the region which contains the point 0, 0 for the inequality 5x plus 4y less than equal to 20. So, we shade this region. This is the solution region for the inequality 5x plus 4y less than or equal to 20 and the solution region also includes the line 5x plus 4y less than or equal to it's the line 5x plus 4y is equal to 20. So we darken this line to show that the line is included in the solution region. Now the second inequality given to us is x greater than or equal to 1 and its corresponding equation of line is x is equal to 1. So let's draw the line x is equal to 1. This is the line x is equal to 1. Now to identify the region for the inequality x greater than or equal to 1, we take the point 0, 0 and if x is 0, then the inequality becomes 0 greater than or equal to 1, which is not true. That means the point 0, 0 does not satisfy the inequality x greater than or equal to 1. So, we will shade the region which does not contain the point 0, 0 
for the inequality x greater than or equal to 1. So we have to shape the region which does not contain the point 0, 0 for the inequality x greater than or equal to 1. This is the region which does not contain the point 0, 0 for the inequality x greater than or equal to 1. This is the solution region for the inequality x greater than or equal to 1 and this solution region also includes the line x is equal to 1 because the inequality contains the sign greater than or equal to so we darken this line. Now the third inequality given to us is y greater than or equal to 2 and its corresponding equation of line is y is equal to 2. So let's draw the line y is equal to 2. Here we have y is equal to 2. So we draw the line y is equal to 2 here. Now again we see that the point 0, 0 does not satisfy the inequality y greater than or equal to 2 because if y is 0 then 0 is greater than or equal to 2 which is not true. So we shape the region which does not contain the point 0, 0 for the inequality y greater than or equal to 2. So this is the region above the line which contains which does not contain the point 0 0 for the inequality y greater than or equal to 2 so we shade this region so this is the region this is the solution region for the inequality y greater than or equal to 2 and this solution region also includes the line y is equal to 2. So we darken this line. Now we see that the triangular region in black is common to all the three solution regions and this is the required solution region. The triangular region in black. And this completes the question. Bye for now. Take care. Have a good day.